I've got to show you more related to working with layers, specifically working with text, because whenever we create text inside Photoshop, that new text is created on a new layer. So let's check this out. We have two different kinds of text that we can work with inside Photoshop. We have artistic text and we have paragraph text. So I'm going to start you off with artistic text. So go ahead and grab your type tool on your on your toolbox there and up above the the statue's head right up above the or towards the top of the composition I should say right in here somewhere I'm just gonna single click when you single click with the type tool you're creating artistic text and what this means is we could type out our text and it could literally run right off the edge of our layout okay so that's what artistic text is it just it simply continues on by itself until we decide to either end it or hit enter or something like this okay there's no container that it sits inside so what I'm gonna type in here very simply is come join us maybe an exclamation point at the end now it's pretty tough to read that what I could do is I could select all of this text I just hit command a control a or command a is fine and then what you can do is you can use the settings across the options bar at the top of the screen to format your text so once again I'm using Blackmore for my text you can use whatever font you want simply drop down the menu and go after a different font it's really entirely up to you you can set the size as well I'm gonna show you a trick though with the size but you could drop down the size menu and select a different point size if you wanted to alignment and so on anti-aliasing from the drop down menu there but here's what I'm gonna do this is normally how I work with text inside Photoshop because this is a composition I don't really care if the text that I just typed in is 12 point or 36 point or 48 and a half point it doesn't really matter to me I just want it to look good inside the layout so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch back now to my move tool inside the toolbox of course I can still barely read that text but notice what's happened over inside the layers panel we now have come join us and it looks like I misspelled join so I'll fix that in a second but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my free transform control or command T on my keyboard there's the frame around the text I'm gonna hold down shift and grab a corner and start dragging and there we go scale that text up something like this right so I can scale it I can move it I can reposition it set it up however I like maybe I want it to be fairly large something like this once I'm happy with that I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter on my keyboard and again I don't care if it's 50 point or 12 point or whatever I just want it to look good now I've got to go and fix my typo how am I gonna do that I'm gonna go and grab the type tool on the toolbox I could have tapped the T key on my keyboard as well and I'm simply gonna click back inside the text and pop in a letter I there for myself and again I could select this text oh I wound up at 80 and a half point well that's great I don't really care again so back over to the move tool and again I can position this guy using my arrow keys on the keyboard get him set up maybe something like that there you go that's kind of the 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 down and dirty anyway of working with artistic text let me show you a couple of neat techniques what I could do is I could take the layer effect that I applied to the medieval dinner text and apply it to this new text that I've created how do I do that well I'm gonna go and find that medieval dinner text okay so he's on the text layer don't forget sometimes what I'll do is I'll disable oh yeah right okay that's the guy that I'm after then what I'll do is I'll right click on this guy and down to copy layer style I mentioned this guy not too long ago so now I've copied that effect I'm gonna go and select the come join us text layer right click on him and choose paste layer style just like that so that's a neat way that you can copy the effect saves you a massive amount of time now I'm not sure that I like this effect on this text maybe what I'll do is I'll fiddle with it just a little bit but I did wanna at least show you how you could copy and paste your layer effects